How many times have you walked past a street musician without paying him any attention? This particular street musician was ignored by practically everyone when he started playing on this city square. But when a little girl decided to give him some money, he shocked everyone. This musician didn't look like your average street musician. He was wearing a full tuxedo and held a shiny, brand new looking string instrument in his hands. People were confused by what this guy was doing on the city square, as they were used to musicians who looked a lot rougher. This city square in Spain was infamous for the many beggars and street musicians that would crowd it on a sunny day. The square was quite the tourist hotspot and people with little means tried to take advantage of that. Just a month before this video came out, a fight broke out between two street musicians on this very square. The locals weren't too keen to see another street musician cause trouble. When this street musician was setting up to start playing his string instrument, some of the locals came up to him and warned him against playing. They told him that nobody wanted him there. They had all had enough of street musicians and told him to seek his luck somewhere else. The musician came up with a clever idea. The street musician told the locals that he would only play if someone wanted him to play. He promised he would not play unless someone paid him to play. Until then, he would remain completely frozen and bother nobody. The locals laughed and agreed. They were sure that nobody was in the mood for street music, but they would soon be proven wrong in a fantastic way. As promised, the street musician remained completely still. Pretty much everyone in the city square was confused by this odd behavior, especially since the musician didn't look like a regular vagabond. He was wearing an expensive tuxedo. Still, none of the people on the square were excited to hear some second-rate music from a street musician. They would rather listen to the music on their phones. Everyone ignored him. The musician started to lose faith in his plan. The musician saw a lot of people walking past with earphones in. They were all enjoying music on their phones, but nobody had yet asked him to play any music. He was starting to lose faith. What if the locals had been right and nobody wanted to hear his music? That was not what he had been expecting when he decided to go to the square in the first place. But everything would soon change. Nobody knew that the street musician was actually a very talented classical musician from the Orchestra Sinfonica del Vallas, a local symphony orchestra that is known around the world for its amazing renditions of classical compositions. Even though this man was very talented, he had planned to share some music with the world for a few cents. But as of yet, nobody was interested. The musician had been standing there for quite a while, yet nobody had asked him to play any music yet. He was still frozen in place, looking more like a living statue than a street musician. Ten more minutes, he said to himself. That's the amount of time he was going to remain there. After those ten minutes, he was going to give up. Maybe the locals had been right. But then everything changed. Because on the square, there was one person who was extremely excited to hear him play his string instrument. Angelica, a four-year-old girl from Madrid, had been visiting the city with her parents. They were enjoying their lunch on the square when her eyes fell on the strangely dressed street musician. She asked her parents if she could give him a coin. Angelica's parents told her that they were not going to give her any money to give to the street musician. No Angelica, they told her. That's a waste of money. This trip has been expensive enough. Angelica was extremely disappointed and turned away from her parents so they could not see the tears in her eyes. But then she saw something on the square. There was a fountain. Angelica and her parents had been sitting on its edge, enjoying their homemade sandwiches. When Angelica turned away from her parents after they had denied her request, she saw something glitter on the bottom of the fountain. What was that? The bottom of the fountain was littered with coins, dropped there by people making a wish. In Angelica's eyes, there was a fortune in the fountain. Her parents had already taken their eyes off her and were busy looking around the square, so Angelica was able to grab a coin out of the fountain without being seen. Now she needed to get the coin to the musician. Angelica held the coin firmly clenched in her fist as she walked towards the musician. Her parents called after her, but she kept on walking. She started to draw other people's attention. Apparently more people had been waiting to see the musician play, but nobody wanted to be the first to approach. She dropped the coin in his hat and then everything changed. Like a jukebox, the musician starts playing. Finally, he's got the proof that there are people out there that want to hear his music. He's proven the locals wrong. The musician starts off slow, with beautiful notes coming off his string instrument. But that's not everything. 
he's about to shock everyone that is present at the city square. Out of nowhere, another street musician shows up. She is carrying a cello. She sits down on a chair next to the first musician and starts playing as well. Their music combines beautifully and moves the spectators. But this is not all. More and more musicians start showing up. Violinists, horns, drums, it looks like an entire orchestra. And it is. After a few minutes, an entire orchestra is playing Beethoven's Ninth Symphony, Ode to Joy. Who would have expected this? A choir shows up and starts singing along to the music and a conductor guides the orchestra. And all of this started with Angelica's coin, 